everybody, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4. Hey, it's me again. I still haven't picked out a good intro song, so... Hey! So, I'm at the park right now with Megan and the twins and Hank Rotella. Yeah, you heard that right. You heard that right. Hank Rotella is here at the park with the boys and Megan. This is some crazy stuff. I think Megan still kind of has like a soft spot for him. And I'm like, maybe Megan can continue to like date him. Not really date him, but kind of flirt with him away from his wife. Oh, look, there's Josh. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Still silly as ever. But maybe I'm thinking, see, like, look, she's just like, oh. Oh no, she's tired. I was like, she's so madly in love. No, she's just exhausted. Uh, however, oh my gosh. I don't think Ryder really appreciates his mother and father flirting. He's probably like, Dad, you have not been there. Mom deserves better. What do you mean? Look at him. Hank. This is awkward. She's going to... Um... Promise to dedicate song. Oh, because she is a violinist. I guess we will go ahead and dedicate a song to him, and it will be um, will be a special thing, I guess. Look at him playing with Ryder. <laughs> All right, she's just gonna watch, chill, and relax. Ryder is pretty freaking mad right now. Oh yeah, he's having an aggravating conversation. That's not good. That's not good at all. <laughs> he's getting a little po'd right now. He's like, seriously, dude, get away from me now. And where is Tyler? Oh, he's up here chilling. He's like, you know what? I guess so. I guess we can all chill. And it cracks me up. Look, look. It's Alexis Orlando. You guys remember him? We had some beef with him, Drake, back in the day. I just, mm -mm. he had that smug look on him. He looks like he, he's, I don't know, smuggy. I don't, see? See? You guys see what I'm talking about? He just has the smug appearance that I'm just like, mm, boy, look at me again, I swear. Oh, there's a ghost here, and he, oh, he's like wearing a little animal hat. Oh, I guess she's going to flirt a little bit with Hank. You know this. Oh, he's totally not into it. Wow. 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 I was not expecting that. Okay, I guess we're going to give him the cold shoulder then. Yeah, clearly they're not happy with each other, so this is very awkward. Apologize, dot, 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 in bed. Oh my gosh, I have never in my Sims 4 experience have I seen this. This is, guys, guys. I mean, there's not a bed here, so I don't know how exactly that would work. I don't think it would work. Yeah, she's like, um, I know, he totally agrees. Wow, Hank. Wow. What a little freaking douche canoe. Okay, you know what? Her hair literally looks like sea kelp, but we won't go there. We all oh, look at the twins. Look at the twins being cute. Hug me, brother. Love this. Love, 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 love. Try to calm your little brother down or <laughs> your little brother. <gasps> Celebrate Taylor's birthday by throwing a rocking birthday party. Did not know it was Taylor's birthday. Did not know this. By the way, I did give Taylor a makeover. When we go home, I will show it to you guys. She looks pretty stinking hot. But these two are going to... Um... Oh, okay. We're just trying to be nice. But okay. Okay. Ryder. I, I suppose so. But yeah, guys, I am going to have everybody head home now. Hank can go home to his freaking wife. All right, so good morning. It looks like Taylor's having a bit of a dilemma over here. <laughs> she looks so funny. I don't know why I find this so funny. She's just like, why me? But Taylor did get a makeover, and you guys, literally, she looks so good with her new hair and her new makeup. Wait till I show it to you guys. Also, I did buy a couple of things around the house. Um... I bought a treadmill over here, so my sims have definitely been working out a bit, and uh, Taylor's looking pretty darn fit, like, inspiration. So I'm gonna have her actually, oh, she's not going to high school today. It's her birthday. So her and Ethan are actually not going, oh, okay, 
our power has been shut off. This is awkward. I went ahead and sold a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and pay the bills. Our royalty should be coming in like any second now too. So we will have money. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and pay that. Nadine, go ahead and do that. All right. And the, the, the lights are back on. Thank goodness. That was so awkward. And like, I mean... Anyways, guys, I, you know, it's only part 62. It's, you know, it's whatever. But I actually need Jose, once he's done over here, I need him to um, repair the fridge and the stove because they're both broken. He's going to go take a shower as well, or not a shower. Yeah, a bath. That's fine. He's going to take a bubble bath or a bath, and then he's going to come over here and ghostly repair everything because it's so desperately needed. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And it is Taylor's birthday, which is super exciting. She's not coming to school today. Ethan went to school, which is, I mean, whatever. He can go to school, but Taylor is definitely not going. She's about to become an adult, guys. But here she is. She seriously looks so good. Like, I wish this was me. <laughs> she looks so stinking cute. I really, really do love this custom content here, which I know. You know, there's a, a lot, lot of, of um, people who really love Sims 4 custom content, and there's a good hand of them that also really don't like custom content. And weirdly enough, like, I'm right in between. I really love the stuff that came with the game, but I also really like the custom content. The custom content's definitely grown on me. And there is some really nice custom content hairs out there. And there's also some where I'm just like, girl... Mm -mm. But I definitely find that this hair right here is just so gorgeous and I think it's just um very nice nice touch and this pretty little dress as well is just so flattering. I just really love it. So she's going to come over here, use the toilet and flush it because somebody obviously forgot. Mop that up, doing some chores on her birthday, but whatever. And nice, we did go ahead and get uh, our royalties. I feel like we got less than usual. Go use the toilet. Why aren't you using the toilet? Is Jose in there? Oh, that's very awkward seeing your ghost grandpa naked in the bathtub. We're gonna go upstairs and go take a shower or use the potty up there. Cause yeah, that's not very good, but he's gonna go jump into that and I guess repair it for us. <laughs> See how quick that was? Oh, that was amazing. I wish you could do that for everything. I wish that would honestly help so much but him being so handy oh you guys have no idea it's honestly the best thing ever and I did hire a maid and she's like she's yet to come so we're gonna go ahead and just I guess clean everything up in here and it's Tay Tay's birthday which I'm super excited about I think I'm gonna go ahead and have her age up now actually um yeah let's go ahead and age her up now I will have Nadine come down here and cook her up a scrumptious cake. We will make her a black and white cake. Or white and black cake because I'm sure she would like a fancy little cake. She just looks so good. She looks so pretty. And she's going to throw away all this trash. Also, I've been thinking um, maybe once Taylor becomes an adult, I'm probably going to move her out and then probably move Megan and her boys out into a different house as well and play in between them for the remainder of this LP which is only like four more parts everybody it's it's crazier three more parts actually so for the next three parts I think I'm going to go in between them because I think I'd prefer that a little bit more um just going ahead and doing that because this household is so full and I kind of want like a cute new little house I think it'd be a lot of fun so she is going to while well, her mom Oh, the TV's broken too. Are you freaking kidding me? Why don't you go repair that too? It's like everything in this house is broken, I swear. I guess she will go swim for a little bit. She's been swimming a lot too, so hasn't Ethan. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to get them a healthier lifestyle, I suppose. I wish I could be healthy like them. I can't. I literally eat a pack of gummy bears a day. <laughs> It's actually um horrible because it's my favorite type of candy is gummies. Oh, do I love gummies? It's uh, my weakness. It's really my weakness. And um, I happen to have them way too often. So 
We're gonna go ahead and add some birthday candles. And Taylor is gonna come over here and blow her candles out. In her little burkini. Here we go, guys. I can't believe Taylor's about to age up. Like, <laughs> they didn't even go out. You're a teenager forever. And here she is. Looking pretty much the same. <laughs> Taylor has aged up. She's a booty, of course, a creative sim. And I think she's going to... I'm like feeling like hot-headed because that's definitely her father. I think she's going to be a romantic. And here she is. She looks exactly the same. Who would have guessed, right? But yeah, here she is all grown up. Literally, she is a young adult now. Oh my goodness, Drake's baby girl. She's not even here, but that's fine. You know, it's all grown up. She's all grown up. This is some crazy stuff. I can't get over this. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> but with her being a young adult, I say we hit the club up. Oh my gosh, Megan's like, ooh, girl. We in trouble with this one. <laughs> She just, she looks so good. She looks so good. She really does. Oh, hey, Coco. I'm Coco. Hey, Loco Kika. How you doing, girl? We're going to come over here and not eat the cake. We don't need to die on our birthday. It'd be our birth death day. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and feed Gretchen. And I suppose we should milk her as well, right? She must have swallowed somebody. I don't know why these Sims keep eating this oven cake. Is he possessing that? Okay, no wonder why everything breaks. Go repair that. And I believe it was Megan's essence of discomfort. <laughs> yeah, because that's what I want to drink, right? Totally. Totally. Um, let's see. Everybody in this town is, like, old. They're literally all elderly in this town, so. Hmm. I'm going to have her come over here and dig some stuffs up. We're probably going to end this part very shortly. It's also Ethan's birthday, but I think I'm going to age him up in the next part. Or or I should actually age him up in this one. I believe nobody ate the cake in that case. Go ahead and plop some more candles on it, shall we? Yeah. This is how mothers do it. They double whammy everything. All right, Ethan, come here, buddy, and come uh, taste your frosting. <laughs> Here he goes again. Oh my goodness. He's literally Drake. He's literally Drake. Oh my goodness. Okay, his lifetime aspiration will be... Ooh. Ooh. Maybe a, a, a bodybuilder. <laughs> I don't know. I think that'd be fun. He doesn't really seem like the type to be a bodybuilder. But maybe that could be his twist. I kind of like that. Let me see. Yeah, I think that'd be fun, being like a little bodybuilder. Get him into the athletic career. And he will be... He will be self-assured. No, he'll be a bro. He'll be a bro. But yeah, here he is. He's literally Drake. Like, uh, no offense, Drake, but he's like a better looking you. Oh, I went there. He's... Okay, mad cute though. Mad cute though. Come here, Ethan. This is crazy. You remember when Drake aged up when he was a teenager? Now his kid is a teenager. His kid's a young adult. Oh, this is too much to take in. This is... Remember when Nadine was a freaking baby and I said, Oh, her name's Nadine. Oh, this is some crazy stuff. This is some crazy stuff. Now, Taylor's pretty much set. She has a freaking bomb makeover. She's looking great. I think I'm going to give Ethan a makeover, but we're going to do that in the next part. How about that, guys? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. This part was pretty much just a bunch of birthdays, which is pretty cool. And I am so in love with Ethan. Like, yes. Just yes. Okay. Okay. 
And with, um, you know, Megan and the boys moving out and possibly Taylor as well, I think that would kind of give maybe, possibly, Nadine and Drake a chance to have another baby. Now I'm thinking they're going to adopt for a change. I think that'd be fun. Or maybe Jose will adopt. I don't know where I'm going with this. That would be a really big plot twist. People would be like, what? You're dead. Okay. I love you all so very much, and I will see you.